right, guys, I'm back again. Okay, so we're going to continue with more techniques, methods for heads and faces and figures. So uh, the other one I finished, but it hasn't downloaded yet. So hopefully you guys can see it. That would be volume five. So this one would be this next video that I'm doing now would be part six, which is drawing the head figures <clears throat> and faces. Okay, so we're going to continue with David Finch again. And I start experimenting. <clears throat> uh, drawing the female um, three-quarter view using the David Finch. We're going to do that today. And we're going to actually use the way Romero does the sort of like uh, the David Finch technique. So it looks kind of similar the way Romero did it also. All right, so let's get started. We're going to actually start with Romero's uh, technique. And... Uh, We'll start the back here. Well, give me a minute, guys. All right, David Finch and uh, Serpino, remember, when you're doing this technique, try to um, analyze. Hold on a second, this seat is not working. Oh, I'm comfortable. Try to analyze that the David Finch technique, starting from the center of the face, um, it's almost like how Romero works and Serpino works at the same time. Okay, so even though David Finch um, uses the, um, the center line first, but he actually uses forms or so, you know, like probably like an oval shape, an egg shape, whatever. So, so we're going to concentrate first with David Finch and then we'll do Romero better. Okay, that's what we'll do. So David Finch starts pretty much and we're going to do a female with this also and it, this is sort of like uh, Serpino also does this also okay so he visualizes um, where that bridge of the nose is going to be sort of like a hint right there and then right here would be the side of the head and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the male but we're going to do a female so right here would be the side of her face. And then we're going to visualize the plain side of the other side of the head right here. Here's the, um, the top, the hairline. And this would be the side of the corner of the plane of the eye. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring this in. And remember what I said before, um, that you can actually use a, a circle technique and do the same thing. So pretty much like uh, Romero does that, sometimes he'll use the center line instead of the circle. So you can do the same thing. So I'm going to do it right here so you can see the difference from a circle. And then as as I'm doing this, I'm going to show, show it to you over here also. Actually, you know what? Let's do a bigger, bigger drawing so you can see it more clear. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we're going to do the same process. Okay. Okay, the same thing I did here, I'm going to do it right here. A hint of the nose. Make sure this is correct. A hint of the side of the head. And right here, just like we did over here, we're going to do it right here. And then right here will be the side. And with the circle, you're going to actually see it more. 
I don't know why, but it actually shows more better the, um, the proportions and the three quarter view. And then we just bring it in like that. And then we'll do a line here for the eye. Here's the mouth, this and that. Okay, so the eye is going to be right over here. That's the way David Finch would do it, okay? And the same thing we're going to do over here. The eye would be around here. So we're going to do the eye. And then the other eye over here closer. Then we'll do a hint of the eyebrow here. And then now we can start working with the shape of the nose, which is sort of like a triangle. We'll do it right here also. And then we'll do her lips. And we'll do it right here also. Lips. So it's up to you guys if you want to use a circle better. Or you just simply want to use this simple method formula just by using lines only. And then we'll just fix this a little bit better. Fix the eye a little bit better here. Okay, now it's better. All right, so remember to do the woman's face, especially the contour, the side of the face. It's sort of like an, an oval. You're going to see a shape of an oval here. And then also another oval here. You're going to actually see it. But don't worry about that. You can actually erase that later on. Actually, you know, I'm just showing you, so I don't really need this. Um, it's just going to throw me off. But just picture it in your head, in the drawing. Sort of like visualize it. Train your eye to see an oval shape. Then I'm going to start working with the top of her head all the way to her back, to the back of her head. So you're going to actually see little by little the shape take form, sort of like an, an egg shape. Then right around here, you're going to see the jawline and then the chin line at the same time. Actually, the ear line and the jaw line straight down to where the chin line is. So that's the same thing. We're going to actually see it here also. We're going to see the same process on the circle. You can actually visualize how Loomis would do the oval on the side of the head. And then right here, you're going to see the ear line straight down to where the chin is. So I'm not going to finish um, this whole process because I'm just showing you guys how the beginning process actually starts. Okay, so just keep in mind that this starts like this. And the grid line for the lips actually helps out. Let's fix this eyebrow here and this eyebrow here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of some details that needs to be improved a little better. And then this line here that I did here, which is sort of like the plain line that I just bring it in like that. And the same thing with here, you're going to do the cheek lines right there. See the cheek lines right there. If you want, before you do the ear line, do the cheek line. So it'll give you a better view and a better uh, visual effect of where that ear line is going to be at. But so far, I got it right. This will be the top hairline over here near where the sideburn is going to be at. But this is a woman, so we're not going to do side, you know, sideburns on her because usually women, their hair kind of flows out like here. You know, so we're just doing the structure of the face. Later on, if you want to do longer hair, you could just do the outline of the hair. Just remember, you know, 
the proportions of from the head to the hair. You don't want to exaggerate it too much, and you don't want to bring it out too in the skull. You know what I mean? Don't do the hairline coming like this. You want to make sure that the hair is on the outline of where the skull is. So, so I did that mistake before, which I was showing you guys before that video that I did correcting the head and all that. Okay, so... And we'll just do a little bit more details here. And then we got. All right, so far, so good. Let's just fix her lips a little bit. Okay, so the same process you can do with a circle. Now let's try um, Romero's technique. But Romero, what he did was, um, he just did lines like this. Okay, this will be the eyebrow line. Then right here would be the eye line. Then right here would be the nose line. And then right here would be the chin line. Okay, so if you want, you can use the center line. But let's try the way he did it by using um, the David Finch technique. See if it works. And... This is what Romero did. He did the contour of the side of the face right here. The cheek line here goes in all the way to where the chin is. Then what he does is he does um, sort of like the George Bridgman. And I know Romero because he likes to work with the um, George Bridgman method. So this would be the side of the eye. Now, David Finch, David Finch starts here and then he goes like that, but you could do it like this. So, then he does a hint of the hair. So, this was like a face he was doing. So, if you want, you know, you can actually bring the line a little bit to the center here. That's why he did um this process first you know he did the horizontal lines first and then what he did was he did like this like that and then he visualized the uh the center of the you could do it that way also you could visualize the center of the face here and then little by little this actually will show up right here and then the, here's the hairline so you could do it that way so i'm going to show you both ways okay i'm going to show you the way david finch would do if i were to use the um for example if i'm so i'm using the david finch and the romero technique at the same time i don't want to confuse anybody here okay so then here i'm going to use it pretty much how he did it how romero did it Okay, so this is the hairline, and right here is the um, the top of the hairline here. So little by little, I'm going to see here the bridge of the nose, the outline of the nose, the corner of the nose, and right here would be my eye. Okay, then I can actually do the plane on top of the head here, the which is the the side of the head. Fix this a little better here. And right here would be the cheek line. And then I just want to make sure I get this correct. I'm going to start the lip here, the top of the lip. So for now on, what I'm going to do is when I do the three-quarter view lip. Um, I'm going to start from the top of the lip better. I think it's better to start the top better and then work your way from, you know, the bottom of the lip right here and then just sort of like refine the lip better. That's it. Okay. So, so far, it's coming out pretty good. Uh, then we do the eyebrow. And then we start shaping the face.
Okay, so let's try it over here. See how it works. I guess it would work. Yeah, it works. Except that we're just going to have to bring that line a little bit out, just a little bit, which is the contour of the face. And then we got a good face here. So you could do it the way David Finch does it, or you could do it the way Romero does it. Remember, Romero starts off with, you know, horizontal lines like this, the nose, the mouth, this and that. And then he does the shape of the contour of the face. No. And then after that, he visualizes the access of where that center, the vertical line might be at. Okay, so then this will be the side plane of where the side of where the eye is going to be at. So you could do that. You could work it out like that. Or you can try it with the David Finch. You could try David Finch's method just by working. Say, okay, let's do it this way. Here's the nose line, the eye line, and here's the chin line. So you can do the center line and then do the way David Finch would do it, like this. And then right here, this will be the corner of the eye, which is the corner plane where the eye is going to be at. So the eye is going to be around here. So you could do pretty much what he does. He does, David Finch would actually do a hint of the nose here. And after that, does this right here then he does the shape of the temple part here brings it out and then he does sort of like a, a V shape or a, you know like a diamond shape all down but instead you can do this also like this to do that nice female you know um, sensitive I would say uh, you know petite or whatever uh, I don't know there's a word for it. <laughs> okay, so then you can do the uh, the rest of the head here. And right here, automatically, you will see the ear line will take place here. And then once you have the mouth, once you finish rendering the nose, let's do the nose, you'll see the top of the lip. Huh? right there and then little by little you're going to see everything start taking form see and this will be the back of the head right there okay so that actually works okay so let's try out um, the three, sorry, the profile, the way David Finch does it. And um, I came out with a, another different formula. So we're going to do a little bit of what he did and pretty much how I would do it. Okay, so David Finch, what he, when he does the uh, profile, he actually would, you know, do something like this indicate the features of the face and this will be the front of the face and uh, what he does is he, he does the ear first and then after that when he does the ear he does the shape of the jaw then he does the plane of the face like that then after that he does you know the framing of the profile so you could do it that way, but the way I would probably do it is that, yeah, I would probably do this front line first, sort of like the Walter Foster technique, 
and then then I'll do the uh, the lines for the features right here's the chin the nose line eyebrow line and then after that what I do is I will start better with the framing of the face which is the profile that's what I would do better and then after I do that I indicate sort of like a you know a scribble form of the eye and then I will probably do the planes right here bring it all the way down to where the chin is and then I would actually see the ear line or the you know the oval for the ear but I'd rather do the ear line better and then I'll do the ears once I have that then my jaw will be more better proportion so I think my way would be a little bit better and then you could start adding more shape or just visualize where the back of the head is and the top here and then do the shape of the head then the back of the neck the artery over here and then right here so you could do this for also women's heads and men heads so this looks more like a female face in a way because of the the way the form of the nose I did goes in like that and then the eye be here the eyebrows so it's more like a, a female so let's make her a female so it works <clears throat> <coughs> Okay, so let's um, do this one by Romero. Um, this is uh, an another way of doing a head sort of like um, Joe Kubert would do. But I'm going to do it again because I figure another way of doing this more easier. So again, you start out with a circle. And uh, of course, you make it look like an egg shape. You know, doing a center line first. And then you make it look like an egg shape, right? Then after that, um, you visualize, sort of like the Loomis method. Here would be um, the eye line here. And then the nose line would be here. And then right here would be the mouth line. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to visualize the temple, temple lines just about here like right near where the end of the circle would be at. Now, I know this is going to be a little bit difficult, but if you pay attention, you will get this. And uh, right here, let me see. Maybe I'll just bring the eye line just a little bit higher because I want to make sure I got the right proportions on this. Okay, I got it right. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the segments for the eyes right here to here so that would be with my eyes to indication of the eyes and then the other eye over here then I'm gonna add the ears right here now I want to make sure that the proportions are correct in the bottom here okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, the cheek lines over here. Oops, excuse me. Oh, the cheek lines over here. The temple. I'm going to start rendering the features. So I'm going to do one side of the face so you can see the difference over here. The nose. The eyes. The brow. And then what I'm going to do is that usually, you know, the face is not too round. So you want to sort of like slice off a bit here. And that would be my jaw. Again, you could also do this also. Figure it out just by going like this. This actually works. Like that, And then you'll see it 
little by little the shape or the form of the head and right here would be my hairline right there and then this will be the eye fix it underneath the eye I kind of messed up there shoot another boo boo So that's how this works. But you really got to pay attention to the tempo lines. And you see, like I did sort of like a, a box shape over here. Two vertical lines on the side of where the egg shape is, okay? So from there on, you start doing the features. But make sure that it's nice and level. Because I don't know if you noticed before, I had to like bring the line a little bit higher. Another way of figure the, you know, figuring this out is by, you can do it this way, like this. Do the uh, segments first. Nose, mouth, and chin. And then do the egg shape. So you can do it that way if you want. And then you visualize where those temple lines are. And that's it. Right here will go the eyes. So try it that way. You know, that might work. Okay, so let's go on with uh, this technique right here. And this is by a guy called, uh, he was a Spanish guy. His name was um, Serey and the video if you want to check it out it's sort of like it's pretty fast so i had to like slow it down to figure it out um uh, it's sort of like one of those um how you call those things shorts and shorts trust me they go fast uh, you know the the time lapse all right so it's by soray metido de lumis that means lumis's method so what he did was um on this one um uh, this one, he sort of like starts pretty much what I've been showing you guys, that you start with the center of the, of the circle, which I'm going to show you right now. Hopefully the camera can get this. Yes, okay. Right here is the eyebrow line, the nose line, the mouth line, and the chin line. So on this one, what you're going to do is you're going to start um, the eyebrows first right here and then right around here is the you know you're going to visualize an eye width for the nose of course do a hint of the nose you use a triangle method if you want and then uh, what he does is pretty much like the uh, Indian artist that I saw what he does is he starts shaping from the chin up he forms the jaw so I gotta I gotta go back and look at the video again I think he started maybe the top I'm not really sure from the top and then he did um, went up this would be the eye line here he did an O for the eye right there and then after that yeah, I got to go back and look at it, but I'm going to try to analyze pretty much what he did. So right here would be the side of the face here. So I probably have to go back and check this one out, but I want to make sure I got the proportions right. So the only way I could figure this out, if I got the proportions right, is do pretty much what I like to do. That once I have the segment of the eye, the tempo is going to actually help me figure this out. So I'll do a, like a tempo line there. And then from there on, right there, I'm going to see the shape. Yep. It's working a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So now it's, it looks better. See, you can always try to visualize 
but you don't really have to draw it you just visualize it you know what I mean? everything has to do with visual effect then right here we have the ear and this is the neck and the v-shape for the arteries of the neck okay so and remember if you if you're drawing a whole head you gotta give it more shape like a like around here like this and you could you you know do the planes also the hairline over here okay so yeah it works i just gotta go back and look at the video the way he did it okay so let's start with this one this one i like a lot this is um this one is by romero but it's uh just a post that he did and let me see if i can do it yeah i'll start a new page all right All right, so I'm going to do this in black pencil better. Okay. I'm going to do it a little bit bigger, of course. Uh, this will be the eyebrow line. And this will be the bottom part of the eye. And this here will be the nose. The mouth will be here. And the chin will be here. So this one is a different approach. What we're going to do here is we're going to do, uh, we're going to start here for the center of where the eyes are going to be at. Okay. Then we'll do another center line right here. And then we'll finish off the corner of the eye over here. And then what we're going to do is, oops, I messed up there. Hold on. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay. So. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hint of an eye there, another hint of an eye there, and then a hint of the eyebrow, the temple part. That's going to help me out. And if I want, I'll do the bridge of the nose, the corners of the nose, the corners of the mouth. Okay, so the next move I'm going to do is I'm going to visualize where the size of the face is going to be at. So I'm seeing it already right here and right here. See? Once I have all these segments done, right away, I'm going to see my face start taking form. So I could start, you know, the bottom part here, right here. Bring it in, you know, bring in where the chin is probably adjust this a little bit more up and then over here the top of the head but remember the head's got shape so you want to make that shape you know curve it a little bit then the ears are going to be around here so it works you just got to be careful with the proportions and then you can add more flesh I'm going to just do one side of the face so you can see what I mean. Right there. Just do the correct proportions. Um, fix the mouth a bit. The bottom of the lip. Fix the corner of the lip, make it better. And use the hairline. Let's just erase this part right here. Okay, so it works. You know, you just gotta practice this uh, whole technique little by little so remember you start off um, with a circle vertical line eyebrow line eye line nose chin and then you indicate you know 
also make sure that when you do these lines they look even with this and this okay when you do these uh, center lines and then after that um, you do a hint of the eye and then little by little you start seeing the shape of the face everything will start forming little by little okay so it takes a lot of practice now we're going to practice drawing a face looking upward so the way i would probably do this i'm not going to use any circle i mean you could use a circle also but this is something that i remember i saw by romero sort of like you're turning the lines upward this will be the eyebrow line this here would be the eye line this here would be the nose line and notice that i'm it's a little closer because we're actually you know looking upward then the mouth around here so what i gotta do is work with the nose first this nose is actually for you know the form is facing up the nose is facing up and I got to be careful with this. This is not easy. And then I could visualize um, the cheek lines here. And little by little, I'm going to visualize the head shape. But I got to be careful with this. This is not easy. mouth line a little higher then the chin line would be around here except that you're going to see the bottom of the chin which is the neck area so this takes a lot of practice and remember this type of pose you're going to see sort of like more on the bottom and you're going to see less on the top because it's sort of like perspective in a way so the hairline you're gonna to have to bring it in a little bit closer so it actually works little by little. Then the ears, you're going to bring it down around this level because the head is looking upward. All right. If you were to draw the ears here, then it's going to look funny. So make sure that the ears are a little bit low. And right here, you do the bottom part of the jaw now, I don't know if I did this right no actually no it's over here what am I doing hold on this is the mouth line crazy you I did another blooper here all right it's here it's right over here this will be the, the jaw the mouth is right here. Yeah, this takes a lot of practice, people. It's not easy doing a tilted head. You know what I mean? I mean, you could try with the uh, with the circle technique. You know what I mean? But yeah, this takes a lot of practice. So now let's do a face looking down. What I would do is, for this one, I would probably use a circle. And then, of course, the features segments are going to actually be turning down. Then here's a chin. And then I'm um, slice off, tapered in more because the head here is going to be more bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have the nose pointing down. So everything is actually changed. And I like doing the, the looking down. It's more better, look, you know, when you do the looking down. It's more easier, I guess. I don't know. But doing the, the head tilted up is just very, very difficult. So you just got to remember 
how everything works, that's all. There's a temple part right here. So this is more like looking down and stuff. Alrighty, guys. Let's continue with something else now. Let me see. Um, hold on. Okay, we did that one. I got to glue this all together later on when I finish. Okay, so we're going to practice David Finch. How he does the front view um, several ways. So first, we're going to do work with the circle. And then we'll do the center lines and the horizontal lines first. So David Finch would do the circle technique sometimes. And then we'll do... And he did this great video focusing on Loomis. So you, go, you guys should uh, check it out whenever you guys get a chance. Okay, so we'll just map out where the features are going to go. So, you'll slice off sort of like a box shape for the segment, how the head should look like. And then pretty much he's famous for those contour, actually those planes that he liked to do. This would be the tempo lines. So I would do a tempo line here and then a tempo line here. And then do pretty much like he likes to do, sort of those cool cheek lines, comic book style. That's the way he does his faces when it comes with the circle. And then he does another line for the center of where the eyes are going to be at. So I'm going to draw the eyes here. And then the other eye here. Now I'm going to work with the nose. The mouth. bottom of the lip, fix the chin a little bit, and then we could do sort of like an eye socket also, which I saw he likes to do eye sockets on his techniques. So, so far it's coming out pretty good. Then we got the, uh, the ears. I think um, I did a boo-boo, not a boo-boo, but I mean, you could work many ways you can, I mean, any way you want. Um, I think it's better to start the ears first and then do the cheek lines afterwards. But don't worry about it because some of his videos, he does work different. So the most important thing that you get your face well proportioned. So you don't want to make mistakes. All right, so here's the hairline. So we'll work with one side of the face first because we got more stuff to do. Plus it's my day off. I want to do more, either more tutorials or just fix the mistakes that I've done before. And then we'll add more shape on the top head, top of the head here. And then we can taper in a little bit. And it depends on the superhero you're doing or any character you're doing. You know, if it's a bulky character, of course, the jaw is going to be more wider. So, so this is more like a, the average Joe guy. I also got to eat something. Oh my god, yeah, my stomach is like telling me, dude, 
Enough with the drawings. When are you going to feed me? Yeah, I got to eat something. I ate something when I came from work. And it was pretty heavy, too. But I got to eat something also later on. Because that was just only one meal I ate today. So I got to eat something later on. Let me see what I'm going to eat. I'm thinking of making some rice. I don't know. Rice with um, some bits of chicken. Those frozen chickens that they sell in the stores. Mix it with some salad, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I got to eat. My stomach is giving me, I don't know, some signs. All right, so, so far that came out pretty good. All right, so now we're going to work with just the center line. And then we'll work with the planes. So this is really cool. I like the way... Um, this is something that I actually started analyzing. And a lot of artists actually work like this also. So let's work with the center line again. Here's the eyebrow line. And this time we're not using the circle. This will be the eye line, which the eye is going to be placed over here. Then the nose line, the mouth, then the chin. Okay, so we got a mapping how the face is going to look. So what I'm going to do here, people, is I'm going to do the cheek, line, you know, like the planes. I could do, um, if I want, you know, a V shape, kind of, very lightly very lightly all the way to the chin and then form the cheek lines at the same time so i'm doing several things at the same time after that what i'm going to do is visualize the contour on the side of where the eyes are going to be at remember the eyes are going to be here right here it's going to start here then after i do this part right here i'm going to work with the tempo lines So now all I got to do is I'm going to start working with the shape of the face. So I'm going to visualize with simple outlines like this. Try to indicate if that's going to be the outline of the head. So yeah, it's going to be the outline of the head. See, then right here, start tapering a little bit the shape of the head all the way down to where the chin see how that works i think it's going to work let's see let's see what happens i might have to adjust some things but i'm going to use the black pencil for that so let's fix this the proper way on some stuff that i've seen by david finch um, which I'm going to show you on the side right here. He'll do something like this. And then he starts shaping the face, sort of like Romero would do. And then he does the cheek lines. Like that. But when you do this, make sure that you're getting the correct proportion of the head. I think that this um, formula that I just did now actually works out better. You start by doing sort of like the V shape first, form the cheek lines, then work your way up like this right here, which is the corner of the planes where the side of the eye is, and then the temple lines. After you do the tempo lines, then you can actually visualize um, the size, the length of the face, and the length of the head. You can actually do an oval also and then shape it. Let's try Let's try that. Let's see what. We'll do it in pen, black pencil. Let's do it that way. 
It's always good to try something new. All right, let's see. That's just something that just came in my head. Let me see if that works. There's a hairline. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is the V shape. And it's sort of like the George Bridgman method. That's what this is, people, the George Bridgman. Except that you're just working from the center to the outside. You're not using any ovals only later on, which I'm going to do right now. See? Okay, so I'm going to shape a little bit so I get an idea. Now, what I could do is I could visualize an oval shape like that. See? But that's not going to be the correct uh, proportions. What I'm going to do is start measuring. See? This will be the top of the head. And I already got this right. So all I got to do is do the shape of the head. See? Look like that. Little by little, you'll start understanding how everything works. Here's the mouth line. And we'll do the uh, the jaw all the way down to the chin. And remember that this a man's chin is wider. And then you could little by little start working with the features. Start the nose, bridge of the nose. Eye width for the nose. Center of the nose. And then from the corner of the nose, you're going to go up. And that would be the eyes right there. You could do the diamond shape if you want. And then just form the whole eye afterwards. It's whatever you guys feel comfortable doing. And then the mouth. I think the mouth came. Hold on, let me check the nose first. All right, yeah, so I'll just start the. It's too high. Because that's because I wasn't concentrating. Start the top of it first. There you go. Now it looks better. So, you could do it this way, or you could do it this way, you could do it that way. So, let's try uh, this technique right here. And we'll do it in, um, this time, purple. So, the eyebrow line. Eye line, which is the eye is going to be placed on top, the nose, mouth, and the chin. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get this well proportioned. Now, what we're going to do is let me see something here. Oh, okay, I see. We're going to work with the nose first. That's something that I started experimenting. So most, most of the stuff here, it's all that I started experimenting with. So it might work for you guys. Okay, so now, after that, I'm going to do the planes for the side of the face, which is actually not the side of the face. I'm talking about the side of the eye. So don't, don't get confused now. Okay, so this will be the a hint of the V shape, but at the same time, I'm doing just hints like that, see, hints. And then a hint of the temple line, 
which right around here is going to be where the eye is going to fall. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to visualize um, four. That's right, the box shape. So I'm going to use another color. Actually, I'm going to use black. Right there would be the size of my head. Instead of using, like I did over here, the oval, I'm using a box shape. So I'm going to connect it down here. Here's the hairline. And here. But don't forget, we're going to do the top of the head, so we're going to make that box shape a little longer. Okay. See how little by little, from working from the center to the planes, little by little, I created a box shape here. And that box shape is going to help me form the head, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to work with the top of the head. And from the top of the head, I'm going to do the side of the face. And little by little, I got my face. I'm going to just make sure that the proportions on the mouth is correct. And right here would be the chin. And that's it. So all I got to do is just keep working with more details, do the center of the nose, the corner of the nose here, work with the mouth. And then go up. And already the temple line is helping me indicate where those eyes are going to be at. I could do circles for the eyes if I want, or oval shapes, it doesn't matter. And I have my eyes. Do more planes on the face. The bottom part, the chin a little bit wider. And just fix the face a little bit better. Give it more shape. I just want to make sure the proportions are correct. Let me see something. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, so you can do it various ways, people. Trust me, it works. Okay, so let's try it this way. This is another way that I did. We'll actually do it right here. We'll use a purple on this one. Actually, we'll do the black better. Well, let's use the brown. Let's use the brown. I just got to sharpen this baby here. Oh, here's my white out. Correct. Yeah, correction fluid. White out. White out. I finally found it. All right, so I'm going to start with a brown pencil better. And then here's my eyebrow line, the bottom of the eye, nose, chin. And then I got the mouth right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, I'm going to work with a different color. I'm going to do center lines like this. Now I'm going to make sure it's even here and even here, okay? So make sure it's even on both sides of the center line. After that, I'm going to realize the V shape. Very simple. I'm going to do the chin a little bit wider and then start with a V shape. Sort of like the um, George Bridgman method, like I did on these guys here. 
and I'm going to close it in here. Close it in here. Okay, so far it's looking half like a face. But I just got to worry about the tempo over here. Once I have that, little by little, I'm going to see... Um, first, let me do the hairline here. I'm going to see, little by little, the shape of the head around it. See? Little by little. I could use the oval if I want, but let's try something different here. I can see the shape here, and then the shape down here. See? Little by little, I just want to make sure that mouth is nice aligned. Okay, so now I can do this, like this, if I want, and then just connect it. And see how the face actually started forming up, little by little, see? And then now I could start, I'm just going to do one side of the face, okay? So I could start, oh, let me work with this one better. I could start rendering the triangle method for the nose. Start with the lips. The bottom of the lip. From the corner of the nose. That's where I'm gonna, my eye is going to start. And since I did the line a little bit low, the eye is going to be on top. Then right away, all these planes that I did, I'm going to actually see the cheek lines take form. And this will be the ears right here. See how the face, little by little, is actually taking form? This actually works, people. Um, you just got to really concentrate, take your time, just, you know, and you'll see that your faces will start, you know, shaping up little by little, just by starting by the basics, you know, center lines, whatever, vertical, horizontal lines, or you could, you know, use a circle or the oval. As you can see, these are all experiments that I have done, and it's going to work out for you guys. All right, guys, next video is going to be Walter Foster, okay? So hopefully uh, these techniques will help you out. And thank you for watching and good luck with your artwork.